The country famous for its Bollywood film industry is known for its uniqueness. It has a traditional culture that remains strong and intact to this day, while simultaneously being influenced by Western culture that increasingly appears in every aspect of citizens' lives. It showcases modernity and progress on one hand, but also indicates poverty on the other. These are the two faces of India that are always visible to foreigners. It is known that nearly all major cities in India face air pollution issues. Vehicle exhaust fumes cause smog that makes residents and tourists experience shortness of breath, especially in Delhi or Mumbai. The majority of Indians practice Hinduism, and in this religion, killing is prohibited. Therefore, the majority of the Indian population, about 60%, are vegetarians. Although 80% of Indians are Hindus, the country also has all the major religions of the world, including Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism, and other religions. The official language of India is Hindi, but besides Hindi, English is also frequently used. In fact, India is the second largest English-speaking country in the world after the United States. Unlike most countries in the world that have four or two seasons, this country has six seasons according to the Hindu calendar. Summer, autumn, winter, spring, monsoon, and pre-winter. India's population is now approaching 1.5 billion, a number known to be higher than all the countries in Europe combined. According to the UN, this South Asian country will soon surpass China in terms of population. Unlike other countries, the divorce rate in India is relatively low, with only one in 100 marriages ending in divorce, making it one of the countries with the lowest divorce rates in the world. This could be one reason why India's population continues to grow rapidly. It is generally known that after visiting a country, travelers can keep the leftover exchanged currency. However, this does not apply in India, as foreigners are prohibited from taking local currency out of the country when they leave. Just like Indonesia, India is also famous for its spices. About 70% of all spices available in the world market are produced in this country. Cows are considered sacred animals in India and are thus highly protected. In West Bengal, an Indian state, every cow must have an ID card with a photo. India is also home to one of the seven wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal was built in 1631 by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan as a tribute to his deceased wife Mumtaz Mahal, who died in 1631 after giving birth to their 14th child. India is not only famous for its Bollywood film industry and the Taj Mahal monument, but also as the birthplace of the game Snakes and Ladders. Snakes and Ladders was created by a poet named Gyandev in the 13th century. Before being named Snakes and Ladders, the game was called Mokshapat. In the game, ladders symbolize virtues while snakes symbolize vices. The game is designed with the concept that those who do good will end up in heaven, while those who do bad will end up in hell. Hearing about India brings to mind the uniqueness and oddities of the country, such as the street food that is often considered unhygienic by the standards of other countries. In videos, we often see or hear that about 70% of Indian households do not have toilets, while most have access to mobile phones. Toilets are a sensitive and taboo issue in India, where about 600 million people still defecate in the open. Experts say the lack of sanitation is a result of poverty and the local belief that having a toilet inside the house is unclean. This belief leads many Indians to prefer to relieve themselves outside the house. Indians are known to be very diligent in maintaining the cleanliness of their homes. Indian mothers, in particular, are known for scrubbing and sweeping until every corner of their homes is clean. However, this attitude is often disregarded once they are outside their homes. Indians generally tend to feel that the maintenance of roads and other public facilities is someone else's responsibility, namely the government. This mentality is ingrained in their upbringing.
the lack of government services to empty trash bins, repair open drains, and clean up messes results in an unending cycle of disorder. The unavailability of adequate trash collection points in some areas forces people to dump their garbage in public places. Additionally, the scarcity of trash bins perpetuates the problem. Moreover, one of the issues faced by countries with dense populations like India is traffic congestion. Similar to the major cities in Indonesia, the roads in some Indian cities, such as Mumbai, are chaotic at certain times. Impatient drivers in Mumbai often honk their horns when stuck in traffic. In response, authorities have installed noise sensors to measure the decibel level of vehicle horns. Dharavi is one of the largest slums in India and even in the world, located in the heart of Mumbai. Despite often being dubbed a slum, Dharavi is a hub of economic activity and home to hundreds of thousands of people. Indore is the cleanest city in India and has held this title for seven consecutive years. Located in a highland area along the Sarasvati and Khan rivers, tributaries of the Shipper River, Indore was established in 1715 as a trading market on the Nirmada River Valley route by local landowners who built the Indreshwar Temple. In 1741, the city became the capital of the Maratha Holkar state and the headquarters of the British Central India Agency and the summer capital of Madhya Pradesh from 1741 to 1756 before being incorporated into Madhya Pradesh. We often view India from a narrow perspective, focusing on poverty, environmental pollution, and noise. However, the country has made significant progress. In terms of military strength alone, India is stronger than Indonesia, ranking fourth in the world for military power, while Indonesia ranks 15th. India has also produced many influential figures in technology and innovation, including Google CEO Sundar Pichai.